How do performing rights organizations collect and pay royalties to songwriters? A songwriter has the right to be paid when their music is performed publicly. But where do these royalties come from? How does a single play on TV or radio end up in the songwriter's pocket? Performance rights royalties are generated from the performance, broadcasting, or streaming of music compositions. Any time a song is played on the radio, broadcast on television, screened in movie theaters outside of the U.S., played in bars and clubs, performed live in concert, or streamed online, the owner of that song's copyright receives a payment. Instead of trying to take on this job themselves, songwriters and publishers turn to performance rights organizations. Songwriters and publishers apply for memberships to performance rights societies separately. Songwriters can only have a membership with one society. Publishers need memberships with each of the societies of their songwriters so that they can manage each of their works. When a publisher and a songwriter join a society, each is awarded 50% of each of the songs they register. That means that when royalties are collected, the societies pay each of them half, and the societies pay each person or business directly. Performance rights royalties are paid out to songwriters and publishers every quarter in the U.S. Every song or composition should be registered into the PRO database that the composer is a member of. If there are multiple writers, the PROs allows the user to enter credits for multiple writers and to assign percentages to each writer. All individuals involved in writing or producing a song should agree upon the percentage to each party before registering the work. It's best to keep that agreement in writing as a split sheet. If a songwriter hasn't signed a publishing deal with a publisher, then they can act as their own publisher and should register two separate accounts, one as a songwriter and one as a publisher. As far as the performance rights organizations, they go out to companies who play live music and issue them blanket licenses. A blanket license gives that company the right to play any music in the catalog of that performance rights organization. For example, if a radio station is issued a blanket license by BMI, that license allows them to play the music of any songwriter that has a membership with BMI. The licensing fees that entities pay vary depending on a number of factors, like the size of the business, how much music they use, and the size of their audiences. Small businesses may pay very small fees, while large companies can pay millions. There are also procedures for bands and musicians to report their own live performances of their own original music. They are entitled to royalties for these performances too. That data is then used to determine what percentage of share of royalties should be distributed to each member. Inevitably, there are plays that are not captured by the performance rights groups. Check the links below the video for more info. Click the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos.